Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? The Classroom of Elites is back, and this is one of the shows me and my good friend were hoping would get more uh, episodes, anything, um, and it's finally here. I think this is one of the most easiest, fun shows that I have seen in quite some time. Not only do they have us in a position after uh, the events of the island, but a new event has occurred, and it's looking as if whoever is the VIP is going to get stinking rich on points. But, yet again, you have the fact of every other person being out there and wanting to find the VIP to the point where if you get found the only people really getting anything are um, you know the enemies or vice versa when it comes down to if you don't find the VIP in this special assignment everything was going chill everything was alright we had class D win and it feels like these challenges uh, can't really hurt them that much after how many points they kind of earned, right? Uh, and with the whole VIP system, I don't, no one's losing like 500k, right? Uh, this more or less seems like a way to continuously have the system not um, be broken by class D, right? Uh, This feels like, oh yeah, by the way, since Class A had a VIP on one team or even two teams, if they end up getting it, what does that look like for the overall rating for the rest of uh, the classes after taking such a huge loss? Uh, Team C getting zero points, Team A getting, you know, uh, third place, and Team B getting second We already know for a fact that everybody's eyes are on Class D, especially after losing this situation. But unfortunately, they're not giving us uh, the true people who are going to probably cause these problems outside of Class C and how he always makes his moves at the end of the day, right? He doesn't ever really hold back any of his thought process. He just moves forward. And that's kind of a bad trait for uh, this type of scene. Because if people already can predict what you're going to do, they just have to wait you out, right? Like, Or they have to put you in a situation where you're going to do that thing that they expect you to do. I learned that the hard way uh, playing video games, right? Like, knowing what I'm good at can be a big thing for my opponents so they can counter me, right? So it's really good to be balanced all around. And the leader of Class C has no balance. He is just, I do it my way, and if it doesn't work, oh well. And we see how <laughs> we see how that plays out. But, man, I am truly glad classroom of elites is back this is a show i have been a big fan of for quite some time and i think it was criminally underrated when it came out because every time i would bring it up no one had really seen it um me and my buddy ended up watching it around the same time he only watches the dub and i ended up going back and re-watching this show in dub And I'll tell you that I liked it, I wouldn't say even, well, I guess I would say even more, because it felt as if um, I could just listen and hear um, all the ideas going through, because there's not a lot to see on the screen, Um, so to read and try to be watching, if there's any, like, small details that they're trying to show you uh, coming in, never was the case it was usually just like right in your face or it is a huge ploy overall and you learn what has been done uh, later on so 
yeah, I am curious to see how well this show does. A lot, a lot, a lot of people have been uh, talking about it and making me a little bit happier that, you know, there's a chance that people know this show exists and that they'll give it a chance as much as others do, so, or other shows that are coming out soon, but yeah, you're gonna have to watch it for a season because this show has no, uh, it didn't really even have a recap, to be fair, right, like, the only recap we had was that the fact that Team D had won on an island, <laughs> so, if you don't know what that means, what island, and stuff like that, you're definitely going to have to go back and watch and see just how crazy of a situation they just got out of, and now they have to figure out a new weird situation with people on their team that they don't necessarily communicate with, with other members like A, B uh, on their team, so it's getting quite interesting the way that they're trying to almost put people in positions to watch others and see how they do things. That's what it kind of felt like to me, right? Like, they're just setting up this bait to make sure they know exactly how to um, analyze and <clears throat> go forward with their opponents. But, yeah, I look forward to seeing any... Uh, you know, new people watching this show, because that's kind of the goal with Ant, uh, shows that I feel like are underrated or underwatched, is that I want people to know that there's voices out there for them, and that either they're giving them good reviews, bad reviews, or just outright trying to get you to see, you know, there's other shows out there that has really cool plots going on, and with this VIP thing going on, all the students are still being students, right? Somebody supposedly got cut in line and these girls are trying to force this class D girl to apologize while at the same time, she kind of showed me that she could be the one that actually did it, even though I didn't believe she would do it. Um, now it's looking like she did, <laughs> right? Just by, just by her body language, just by the way she kind of manipulated the guy who thought she was in trouble and came up and was like, hey, I'll tell on you guys. But at the end of the day, what if they were right? And why was she so afraid to take a picture if she didn't do anything, right? That's kind of my whole thing. I'd be like, go ahead and take three. Get my best angle, <laughs> you know, if I didn't do it. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot to absorb this week, but... The best thing to absorb is that this show is fully back, and I'm looking forward to it. So take care, everybody. I apologize for my sickness if I sound a little stuffed up or anything like that. I'm still recovering, and yeah, I do hope you all have an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Oof.